so this is where we are uh, at this point if we go to if we go down you can see the if we go to Q we can see that there is no Q you can see right here no Q so um, let me shift this one a bit downwards so let's go to IntelliJ and let's start uh, let's start a new application so I'm using IntelliJ the free edition of which you can also use for free so I'm going to be real fast at this point so IntelliJ starts I'm going to simply create a new project right here and let's call it uh, RabbitMQ demo that's the name of the project right so at this point leaving everything at default I'm going to give it a group ID com dot kind on the genius dot kind on the genius dot uh, com dot kind on the genius let this be the group ID and artifact ID rabbit MQ demo okay one word and project name is rabbit MQ demo uh, demo project for rabbit MQ and the, the the package ID is going to oh sorry I'm gonna just stop this com dot kind uh, the kind and the genius uh, I'm gonna copy this control C and then the package name will be uh, dot uh, rabbit MQ demo okay so let's leave it at this group ID um, okay so I'm gonna go next at this point so at this point we need to select um, let's see if we have rabbit MQ here okay so we have spring for rabbit MQ select it and we need web as well so select spring web uh, spring web so we uh, spring web okay fine and we do need uh, SL4 okay we don't find it so I'm going to simply go next next everything should be fine um, so I'm going to say finish all right so actually we have uh, a rabbit MQ I've added it as a dependency but I'm also going to add these two dependencies right here so let me kind of uh, shift this uh the, this page a bit so i can have more room let's wait for a second everything should be fine so i'm going to put in this dependency this dependency you see uh sl4j it helps us to log messages to the console so if a message is sent we can actually log the information in the console uh, very easily so i'm going to take this dependency i'm going to open the pom.xml and I will add this dependency right there in the pom.xml. Let me just take out this window to make some room. Okay, so let's see. We have RabbitMQ added. That is fine. So I'm going to shift this and add this dependency uh, in the dependency section. And I think this is okay. So enable auto import. That is fine. Now we need to. Uh, now I. I I'll have to create a queue. A queue has a name and also need a logger factory because we need to log messages. And on this piece of code, I'm going to just show you what to do with it. So I'm going to copy this piece of code right here. I'm going to SRC main Java drop down. And this is the main application file, the, the main application class. I'm going to paste this. Now, this private the final static queue name, I can actually remove it because I can declare these queues in the in the classes where they are being used so let me just take it out and in case of this I'm simply going to uh, control shift enter is going to help alternate shift enter is going to help me import everything so we have logger sl4j perfect logger factory as well we get it here okay uh, so this one this one here should be the name should be the name of the application class so in this case we have the application to be rabbitmq demo appli uh, demo application so i'm going to simply uh, copy it and just paste it right there okay so everything is okay at this point so let's go to the next step now we need to create profiles but before then let's create a class to send message and also a class to re uh, retrieve message 
So I'm going to go to this package, right click and create a new class, a new Java class. I'm going to call it send. Uh, let's call it send or uh, send.java. Okay. I'm going to call it send.java. So this class is responsible for sending messages. I want it to run on a profile uh, called send. I we're going to talk about this profile in a, in a short time. So the profile I want it to run is called send. Mm -hmm. All right, so now get, we need to do a little work at this point. So I could copy and paste this code, but for now, let's just type it out so that I can explain it to you as I type. So for now, let's do a logger factory. Uh, let's create a logger. So I'm going to say static uh, uh, logger, logger equal to uh, logger factory dot get logger and the name uh, actually, of course, you know, it should be the name of the class. So it's going to be um, the name of the class is uh, signed dot class okay so i'm creating a logger factory that we will use in this class okay so let me import okay so we have this is a typo so it's going to be signed that class okay so we need the queue name so i'm going to say private static uh static uh i can make it make it final but it's okay so So the name, the Q name, Q name, uh, let's call it uh, a demo Q. So let me call it demo. Okay, so to show that there is a demo and the next thing we want to do. So basically, when we are creating a queue, uh, we need we need to create a connection, we need a channel, and then we need the message. So we, are, we need, we'll do these things at this point. So let me see. Uh, let's correct all these errors here. Okay, so I'm going to... I need a main method because this class is going to run separately in a different, in a different uh, profile as an application. So let me copy the main uh actually okay let me just write out the main method here so i'm going to say public uh static void main uh uh string and specify the the array of parameters so basically you don't have to worry about all of this for now so this is the main method we want to run and this this method what we are going to do we, are, we need to create a connection create a channel set the host the host is local host where the queue is located which is in our local host it could be anywhere so let's say i'm going to say um so let's start with connection connection uh, connection uh, connection factory connection uh connection factory factory is equal to new connection factory okay so i'm going to say factory dot set host and it's going to be local host okay so we've created a connection factory and we say because this is where where our server our, our RabbitMQ is located is a local host so i set the host to be the local host and then we need to create a channel so i'm going to say channel uh channel is equal to connection dot create channel uh sorry uh i created a connection factory i also need to create a connection right so connection uh uh connection is equal to factory dot create connection factory dot new connection okay all right so I'm going to just put in the uh, class here. So channel is, channel is, oh, what's happening here? Exception signature is okay. So it's going to be a uh, connection dot create channel. And that is fine. And then we need connection dot create channel. And then we need to uh, declare the queue by using channel dots uh, q declare 
and you specify a few things, the queue name, and just say false, false, a number of parameters I'm not going to be talking about here, uh, and null. All right, so we have a queue now, and I'm going to simply uh, create a message. Uh, our message is equal to welcome to rabbit MQ. Okay, so this is a message you want to send. It could be anything. It could be a data structure. It could be any other kind of message you want. And at this point, we have to do. Um, Channel dot basic publish. Uh, I'm gonna say channel dot basic publish. Okay, channel dot basic publish and a number of parameters as well. We specify the queue name and specify the message dot uh, get byte. Uh, and then for get byte, we need to specify the uh, the character the the so give me a second the, the character set so it's going to be utf or uh, utf8 utf8 great Okay, so I think I'm, miss, I'm missing a parameter here. Let's see. There's a parameter here. Okay, so basic properties. There's no basic properties. Uh, all right, so the next thing we want to do is to just log a message that says uh, the message uh, was signed to the queue. So I'm going to say, uh, let just say, let me just say as uh, information. And this information is simply say message was sent to the queue. Sends uh, plus message. Okay. So I close the message and kind of so let's put this here as well. All right. So we've created. Uh, okay. We need to close the uh, channel and also close the connection. And also say connection dot close. All right. So we close the I'll close the channel and also close the connection. Um, what am I missing uh, now? Everything should be fine. So I'm going to at this point I'm going to add a profile, a, conf a, a configuration for the profile. So this is what you this is, the, this is what you use. The profile I'm going to call it signed. So let me see. Let me take all this. So I'm going to copy this. So learn the syntax, this spring profiles active is equal to sign and simply go to configuration and go to add this plus sign, choose application and in the application, the main class is going to be the main class for this signed uh, class. So it's going to be signed, right? Good. So the VM options, uh, program arguments, the VM option of program argument. Now let me show you what to do. So go to just go to Kyneton the genius has come. Uh, okay, so it says spring profiles, Kyneton the genius, and we could see uh, go just go to the second one and just scroll down and you can see here. Uh, you can see it's under the VM options. That is where it should be. You can see the VM options right here. So let's get back. So VM options, I'm going to paste this. So the name of the profile is signed and I'm going to name it signed right here. The name of the profile is signed and that is fine. I'm going to allow this to be built and I'm going to apply. Okay. So at this point, if we, if we run this application, then we'll be able to send the message to the queue. So I'm going to save everything, save all. I'm going to make some room here so that we can see that this queue will be created. So let's get 
to this place and let's, let's leave both of them open side by side. You can see that there is no messages for now. I'm going to run this application after saving everything, save all and run this application and let's see. So let's see if a queue is it will be created for us at this point. So let's see. As you can see, one queue has been created for us. We call demo queue. And if you open the demo queue and go down to get messages, uh, you can see uh, payload at this point. You can see welcome to RabbitMQ. That has a message we sent from our application. All right, let's now go to write another uh, class to now retrieve a message from the queue. So let's create, uh, since we already created a configuration, let's create another configuration here. So I'm going to go to edit, I'm going to add, I'm going to application and VM options, I'm going to paste. In this case, I'm going to call it receive. And the main class, oh, we've not written it, so we can't do it. Okay, we can't. So uh, let's go to create the class for the receive. So I'm going to say a new Java class receive, okay. I'm going to allow it to run in the profile profile of receive. All right, so it's going to run on this profile. Okay. Uh, so permit me to just be, uh, take a look at it step by step, so I don't miss out anything. So let's go to the the receive. Okay. So so at this point i'm going to actually copy everything everything is basically the same I'm, I'm going to show you what is different in this case so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to simply paste it right here okay so we have a problem with the uh Okay, so permit me to just come here and just change something. So I'm going to rename this file by refactoring. So I'm going to refactor. Let's look for refactor uh, here. I'm going to rename it to, so there's a typo. So it's going to be receive uh, refactor. Okay. All right, everything should be fine. And at this point, I'm going to save everything. Uh, I'm going to save everything. And now we want to actually uh, run, but uh, we need to give a configuration right here. So let me just copy this and use it to create a configuration for receive. So I'm going to click on application. The main class is going to be receive. And the VM options, I'm going to just paste and then change it to receive. Okay, so um, change the name here as well to receive and apply okay fine so uh if i go to okay so you can see the sign is running at this point so i'm going to save all and i'm going to run the receive at this point so let's see if it gets the message from the queue okay so you can see it's waiting for messages okay so you can see we have a problem because we have the queue name to be hello but for now uh, the name of the queue is not hello so it doesn't get any message because there is no queue like that so what we can do is to create a second queue so i'm gonna i can actually come here and create a second queue called hello and actually run it it's gonna run side by side so what I want you to do is at this point, I'm going to go to send and I'm going to rerun the send. This is send. I'm going to rerun it and take a look at the receive while it's waiting for a message to come. And message comes most likely and it says received. Uh, okay, this one's signed, but in case of receive, it says message received, as you can see. So now it says message received because the queue has been created and it received the message. So this is how to, and if we go to RabbitMQ as well, we can see that we will have two queues. So if I go two queues 
and if I go to the hello queue, we will not see any message because the message have actually been retrieved. Okay. So this is how to configure and run a RabbitMQ. I would like to thank you for viewing. If you have any challenges, please let me know. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed to my channel. And we will see in the next part where I'm going to be talking about uh, distributed messaging and also creating a RabbitMQ cluster.